Ladies and gentlemen, for information, the antitic vaccine is ready, it's within the country. We have 2,500 doses that are ready to be launched in Mbarara, Zadi, in Kiburara government prison farm, in Isimba prison, in Oima, in Marusi, in Apache, then in Onabuin, in Nabilatuk district. We are now ready. Oh my God. I want that uh, Achori style of Kalulu. The way the Achoris do it. Eh? It's great news for the farmers in fighting ticks and tick bone. This, if this can be real. So we've been looking at tick and tick bone diseases. And one of the things we were able to come up with is a quick solution that can limit the usage of acaricides by the farmers. So from this facility right in this room, we were able to develop an anti-tick vaccine. Honorable Minister and Delegates, we developed an anti-tick vaccine from the exact ticks that we are having in the country. A similar anti-tick vaccine was developed in Chuba and it helped them to eradicate the use of acaricides. And they have now market for their animals. We have done the same as Naro. We were able to evaluate it through the primary phases. Normally vaccine development takes three phases. You develop the vaccine, you go and test it in your animals, and after testing your animals, you confirm that it's very efficient. We proved that the vaccine can kill the types of ticks that we have in Uganda, and these are the three which are disturbing the Ugandans, where a lot of money is being lost by government. The country loses 3.8 trillion Ugandan shillings due to tick and tick bone diseases annually. So after testing them, we went ahead and proved the regulatory authorities in Uganda that you have a product that's going to alleviate ticks. Mm. Our ticks have become a problem. So what we did was to again test its efficiency. Africa's level of registered in the vaccine has never been ever registered in the whole world. Thank you. It is yeah. the highest ever in the world. As I talk now, we've been given clearance by the different regulatory bodies, including Uganda National Council of Sciences, because they looked at the product, they looked at our evaluations, and they were certified. And as I talk now, we have over 5,000 doses. So 